So now I'm going to show you how you can actually solve challenge the extension challenge one. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at my modes of transport. So we're actually recreating this. So I'm going to go to my modes of transport. I'm going to do it using this spreadsheet. So let's create a new sheet and I'm going to call this ext one. All right, just so it's different from this one here. All right, there's my first one. So now what we're going to use in this is a function called query. Now you can find out more about that by clicking on help. You could go to a function list. If we open up the function list, I can use this function list to go and find different functions that I want to look at. So I could type query in there and it will find that information. So let's go back to this. Now we're going to start this query. Now there are other ways you could actually do this. And if you use those ways, then I'm not going to mark you down for it. But this is the way that I'd like you to use it because I'd like you to understand the whole idea of using queries. So let's type equals. We're going to start our formula and we're going to start by typing in query. Now let's type a bracket. Now what you can see here is there's some details of what happens with this particular function. Now you may see this and if you do then you need to either click on the question mark or you can click on the expand button or F1 which will open up the expansion. So now what we need to do is we need to go and get the data that we want to query. Now the data we want to query is in our modes of transport to sheet. So let's go there and let's click on the data. So we want from A all the way and we can press shift to G and you can see here it's actually taken A to G. Then we can press comma. Now it's asking us for the query. Now you can see in this part here in the example what it's actually asking you to do. So we need to put in quotes our selection. So we're selecting column A, which is the mode of transport, and we want Monday as well, which is going to be column B. I can see those by just opening those up. You can see, or you can't actually see the, the dates there, but column A is the mode of transport and column B is Monday. You can see E is Thursday there. Then what we can do, let's just expand that again. And then we want to close the quotes and end the formula with a bracket. Let's press return. It's taking in that information from the modes of transport to sheet. Now let's just tidy things up a bit. Let's make that bold and I'm going to click on this and wrap the text round and let's give it a nice orange. And here equally I can what I can do is make it bold and so let's select that total. Let's put a line in above. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do extension one.